base, 14, Juno Sean. Batting seventh, the right fielder, number seven, Ellie Washington. Batting eighth, the catcher, number 12, Lucy Allen. Batting ninth, playing second base, number two, Kaz Tamai. The pitcher, number 21, Bailey Gray. Here's your lineup for the Lions. Leading off, the right fielder, number three, Juliet Zito. Batting second, the shortstop, number 15, Ella Molinari. Batting third, the designated player, number two, Taylor Bay. Batting fourth, playing third base, number five, Lindsay Oliver. Batting fifth, the pitcher, number 17, Peyton. Blankenheim Brown. Batting six, playing first base. Number eight, Lily Platt. Batting seventh, the catcher. Number 12, Riley Dolan. Batting eight, playing second base. Number 18, Maggie Kerr. Batting ninth, the center fielder. Number 10, Great tobacco. Playing left field, number seven, Allison Weston. Looking off to the Pioneers, the left fielder, number four, Lexi Ballum. And welcome back to Clark Field on the campus of Wheaton College in Norton, Massachusetts. Wheaton won the first matchup 8-0 via an eight-run roll. Drew five innings. Lexi Ballum, the leadoff batter, takes the first pitch 
for strike number one. On the mound, number 17 for Whedon. It is Peyton Blankenheim Brown getting the start in game two of today's New Mac Conference doubleheader. Ground ball left side of the infields. And could it keep it off the bobble out in front as that's going to be one player on board here with a Ballum to lead off the inning. Be an error charge to Whedon by Taylor Ang. It's Ella Molinari who's at shortstop. This will be Taylor Ang who is up now. Runner goes. We're going to miss strike one to throw down the second. And it goes all the way to the outfield. And base runner will stay put with Ballum on second. Taylor Ng, second batter up this inning to begin for Smith here. Takes pitch number two at this about on the outside as the count goes one and one. On the mound with Peyton Blankenheim Brown, the sophomore pitcher from Rio Linda, California, making her fourth appearance, third start of the season. 14 innings pitched entering this week with an 0 and 2 record. 303.00 earned run average entering. The week of action. Put out, recorded out in foul territory there for the grab. For Lindsey Oliveira, who's playing third base today in game two of action. Now batting for first stop, number 23, Piper Corey. This brings up Piper Corey now for the shortstop from Phoenix, Arizona. She is a junior. Corey drives it. He goes foul though. Whedon took the first game 8-0 and an eight-run roll victory in five innings. Sophia Knopf got the start, pitched five innings, recording five strikeouts, two walks, two hits allowed, and a shutout victory. Ella Molinari won a perfect three-for-three, three, batting with an RBI and two runs scored. Missing high and outside in the pitch by Blakeham Hine Brown. As the count now goes one ball, one strike with one out. Brianna Egan was excellent in the first game at third base. Multiple great plays that she made in the field at third. And also Taylor Barry, tremendous at-bats for her. Perfect three for three, four RBIs, two runs scored. A career-high four RBIs in the first game in the 8-0 victory. 1-2 now to count here. Piper Corey up to number three in the order. Blake behind Brown with a 1-2 pitch to Corey. Swing and miss, strike three. First strikeout recorded on the mound today by Peyton Blake behind Brown. Peyton Blake behind Brown pitched against Johnson of the Wales in game two and recorded their first collegiate win on the mound. And now with a 1-2 record this season for Blake Hine Brown. She pitched a complete game, seven innings, recording a career-high six strikeouts, two walks allowed, and two runs allowed in the 4-2 victory of our Johnson and Wales on Tuesday. First pitch taken in the zone for strike number one. Now a go-back foul. Off the bat, a CC Allen is now as the count goes a quick no balls, two strikes. Blake of Hein Brown, 0 2 pitch to Allenies. Ground ball, backhand, the throw to third. Tag not applied in time, and on board now on first will be CC Allenies. So try to get it with a fielder's choice right there with Molinari off to Oliveira. Once again, a little bit of a hesitation off the glove with a bobble by Ella Molinari. First runner was awarded via the error on the first and a misplayed ground ball by Molinari. Fly ball hangs up as it will be 
caught by Oliveira against the fence, rolled by the home plate umpire. It is fouled in. So Oliveira caught it. It did grease the fence, though, so that rolled it a foul ball. Great effort. The third base side all the way to the Whedon dugout and foul territory. Tried to grab that by Oliveira. It grazed the fence, though, so not an out. As this at bat will continue right now with Lucy Helms. She pitched in the last game. Swing the miss, strike two. Blakey Man Brown able to blow the pitch down low in the zone, and Helms offered at it. 0 2 now the count. Blakey Man Brown had five strikeouts, no walks allowed, one earned run in six innings against Arcadia University of Pennsylvania. March the ninth. Swing the miss, strike three. Recorded on a strikeout by Payton and Blankenheim Brown, and that leaves one runner stranded on third for Smith. To start off the top of the first inning of action. Top of one through the book so far as we are scoreless here, zero to zero. Between Whedon and Smith as we move on to the bottom of one coming up. Zito and Molinari, Barry, the one, two, three batters. Do the order for Whedon to begin. They're at bats here in game two of today's doubleheader in Newmack Conference play. We'll be back in a couple moments on the Newmack Sports Network. Bottom of the first inning, Wheaton College with their first at bats today. This brings up Julia Zito. She had a hit during the last game, recorded her 100th career hit against UMass Dartmouth on March 22nd. Leaves off the first pitch high for ball one. Getting the start on the mound is Bailey Gray, the first year pitcher from Missouri City, Texas, making her sixth appearance and their third start this season by Gray. 1 0 pitch. Cranked back foul off the bat of Zito. 21 and two thirds innings pitched this season by Gray with a 2 0 record, 2.58 earned run average. One complete game pitched with one shutout, one save, 21 strikeouts, and seven walks allowed. Last game, Gray pitched two and one thirds innings with three strikeouts and a walk against Westfield State on March 27th. It goes foul off the bat of Zito as she tried to drop down the bunt. The count now one ball, two strikes. Gray threw a complete game, seven inning shutout. She recorded five strikeouts with two walks allowed and three hits allowed in the three to zero victory over SUNY Brockport on March 21st. One, two. Zito cranks it. Deep ball on a laser. Drops down right in front of the left field fence and able to stretch it out to a double. Great start here to game number two of today's double header. Juliet Zito with a stand up double. To begin for Whedon. The bats got going in game one. Ten total hits alongside three errors resulted in eight runs scored. And today already getting their bats a quick double here for Zito. Second double of the day for Whedon batters. They also had two triples in game number one of action. This brings up Ella Molinari. She was perfect in the first game today. Takes the first pitch. Inside portion of the plate for strike one. Molinari, three for three with an RBI and two runs scored in game one today. 0-1 pitch to Molinari. Missing down, stop of the catcher. Zito retreats back to second there. Good stop behind home plate. That is Lucy Allen getting the start in game two behind home plate for the Pioneers.
1-1 pitch to Molinari, missing down again. Zito goes, sliding in safely in time. Great heads up there on the base pass by Zito. Had a stolen base earlier today in game one. Gets one right there off the wild pitch by Bailey Gray of Smith, missing down in the dirt. The count goes two balls, one strike when Molinari at bat. One runner in scoring position with Zito. 2-1. Down to the way, missing the zone. It's ball three. Three and out to begin the season for Wheaton College. At the top of the new Mac alongside Springfield. Ground ball and a laser right up the middle. That's an RBI for Wheaton. Ella Molinari tries home Zito. A quick one to zero lead for the Lions. A solid piece of hitting all game long for Whedon. A lot of balls being taken up the middle. This brings up Taylor Barry. She exploded in the first game today, career high. Four RBIs, perfect three for three. Two runs scored, career high, four RBIs. First pitch missing high to Barry. Barry has been on a roll lately. Coming off New Max softball, athlete of week honors for last week. She went an impressive 10 for 14 batting, posting a 714 batting average with four doubles, four RBIs, four runs scored. And a pair of stolen bases last week in a 3-0 week with wins over Bridgewater State and a two-game sweep over Savvy Regina to begin the conference late last Saturday. One and one now to count to Barry. Squares the bunts, pulls it back, runner goes. Up and safe at second on a non-contested throw. Lucy Allen behind home plate. The catcher bobbled it. Couldn't send it off the second in time. And now a runner in scoring possession here for the Lions with Molinari on second. So opportunity to see if she can do some more damage with an incredible day today already by Taylor Barry. With four RBIs to pitch to Barry. Ground ball right side. Moves over to base runner. Barry. Tagged out, though, on their way to first. Moves over, though. The runner on third with Molinari with one out for Whedon. A good piece of hitting right there. Send it to the right side. Able to push over Molinari. This brings up Lindsay Oliveira. Good situation for her. She's been able to deliver in the sacrifice fly department this season. Four sacrifice flies, putting our top three in the Numac top 25. The RBI, she drives it. It goes deep. It is caught, though, looking for another sacrifice fly. She will. That's our fifth of this season by Lindsay Oliveira and RBI as she brings home Ella Molinari from third to home. Makes the score 2-0 to zero for Whedon. That's just textbook hitting right there. Oliveira with a great piece, drove it right to center field. Taylor Ng was the one who recorded the put out out in center. This brings up Peyton Blankenheim Brown now up for the pitcher. First pitch, she leads off down below the knees for ball one. Whedon brought back the majority of their roster from last season. 22 total players with six seniors, three juniors, seven sophomores, six first year players. Blankenheim Brown. Tags that one foul towards the right side. Seven U.S. states represented. Nine players from Massachusetts, six from New York. Two players each from Connecticut and Maine, and then one player each from New Hampshire, Kansas, and California. An amazing start to the season in the New Mac Conference slates right now for Whedon at a perfect 3-0. Looking to see if they can provide a sweep today over Smith College. First 12 games of the season, they started off with a record of four and eight, but last six, they've really got going. Five and one record in the previous six games, dating back to March 26th. Four shutouts this season as well for Whedon. Just one shutout loss came against the Little East Conference Tournament champions back on March 22nd in their home doubleheader. It's five to zero loss against UMass Dartmouth. Swing of the miss, strike three. As Bailey Gray is able to ring up 
Pates and Blankenheim Brown at the plate. Now Blankenheim Brown will go back on the mound for Whedon coming up. Top of the second inning as Whedon leads to the zero as they've led throughout the entire course of the day and they have yet to allow a single run to get across the plate for Smith in today's action of the doubleheader. We'll be back in a couple moments for the top of the second inning on the New Max Sports Network. the Pioneers, playing first base, number 14, Juno Schantz. Juno Schantz will be the leadoff batter to begin the setting for Smith. Swing of the miss, strike one, and the pitch delivered by Blankenheim Brown. Oh, one pitch by Blankenheim Brown. Shots, pop fly, tags it back, foul. Shots playing first base today for the senior from Seattle, Washington. She was named at all-conference second team selection last season. Also named to the National Fast Pitch Coaches Association NFCA All-Region Honors last year. Quick 0-2 count here by Blankenheim Brown, 0-2. Missing down the shots for a ball. Ten games without at least a hit entering this weekend's series with Whedon for Geno Shots. Four multi-hit games, a season I three for three batting with one double, two RBIs, and a run scored against William Patterson University on March 18th. One ball, two strikes. Pop fly by Shots, high flying ball, follow territory though. We'll keep this at bat alive for Geno Shots. Smith returned two all-conference selections and also acquired a key transfer in the offseason. Shots, the returning all-conference second-team selection from last season on the team. 1-2, Shots drives it. Deep ball, right center field, drifting all the way back. Goes to the fence there for Juno. Shots with a stand-up double for Smith. A little bit of momentum right now for the Pioneers there. Shots was able to hit that ball, the rope all the way to the fence. Washington. Molly Takeda, grad student center fielder, was named an all-conference second team selection in the new match. She is yet to play today, though, for Takeda. And then the starting pitcher, Emily Dottie, the ace pitcher that got the start in the first game, a transfer from Tufts. She was named co-rookie of the year last year in the NESCAC. Squares the bunts. Bunt successfully dropped down to the field to play to throw the first with a put-out recorded by Oliveira to retire the batter with Eleanor Washington. Washington able to move the base runner over with one out now as Chino Schatz is on third. So Smith is yet to score today. Big opportunity right now for Smith to see if they can deliver right here. Lucy Allen, the first year catcher from West Boylston, Massachusetts is now up. She sees the first pitch in the zone, takes it for strike one. This is our 15th at bat this season by Lucy Allen, hitting 214 for her batting average, 267 on base percentage, three hits with one walk drawn. Two runs scored, three games with one hit each this season. Ground ball left side, it rolls foul. 
Quick 0-2 count here by Peyton Blinking Pat. Breaking behind Brown, the pitcher to the batter, Lucy Allen. Whedon has outscored Smith 10-0 in today's doubleheader. 8-0 in game one, 2-0 right now, starting off game two. Two quick strikes on Lucy Allen, the batter. Blinking behind Brown. Up in the count, 0-2, she delivers. As it goes back, foul off the bat of Allen. High expectations going into this season for Smith. The Pioneers were picked to finish in sixth place in the 2024 New Max Softball Coaches Preseason Poll. One spot ahead of Wheaton, which was projected to finish in seventh place in the New Max Conference Coaches Preseason Poll. And Wheaton returned a majority of its team from last season. Smith returned an experienced roster from last season. One grad student, eight seniors and two juniors. 11 out of the 20 players are either juniors, seniors, or in the graduate season. That is approximately 55% of the roster being either upper-class players for Smith. Smith also returned eight starters from a year ago as well. Eight straight seasons, though, with a losing overall record from 2015 to 2023. Looking to turn around their program. The last year that they had a winning record was back in 2014 when they went 23-13 and 13 overall, 8-10 and 10 in the new Mac, and Played in the 2024 New Mac tournament to throw to home. And Oliveira able to gun down the base runner. Great tag right there applied by Riley Dolan as he gets the base runner out at the plate with Juno shots. Coming across from third to home. Heads up play right there by Oliveira. Off the throw down to the plate and now two outs for Whedon. Shutout still intact right now for the Lions. Runner on first base. With Lucy Allen, this will bring up number two. Taz Tamai up to the plate, lays off the first pitch high above the letters for ball one. Excellent heads up play by Oliveira. It's been this game all game long, whoever's played at third base today. In the first game, it was Brianna Egan with great snag after great snag with excellent defensive play in game one at third base. Oliveira gets the start, moving over from shortstop to third in game two and just... An amazing heads-up play right there. She's able to gun down the base runner shots right in front of her. She, she sees that shots is going from third to home. She throws it off to Riley Dolan, the catcher, who applied a tag. And shots did not slide either. Applied a tag to the knees well before shots crossed the plate. 1-1 one, one now to count. The pitch. And that gets sent all the way back. It goes foul. Smith came into today's doubleheader minus five through the first 12 games scoring. 40 runs scored, a 45 runs allowed this season as a team. That was their second loss of the season by an eight run roll. Their first loss came against Luther College of Iowa, 12 to four in five innings on spring break. They've struggled though when they've allowed their opponents to Four runs are greater. They've recorded zero victories, four losses, and a tie, allowing their opponents to four runs or greater. Shallow fly ball caught in the infield for out number three of the inning by Molinari. Lindsey Oliveira with a heads-up play. Throwing out the base runner, Juno Shots running from third to home. Saves a run coming across the board, and Whedon's shutout today is still intact. 2-0 to zero the scores. We enter now the bottom of the second inning coming up on the New Max Sports Network.
This brings up Lily Platt, her first at bat today for the sophomore from Hallowell, Maine. Playing first base today for Platt with a 233 batting average entering this week. Takes the first pitch for strike one. A couple scoreboard updates from the new Mac today with game ones going on with two other games. Springfield at the top of the new Mac alongside Whedon improves to 3-0 in conference play with a 9-1 win hosting Babson in game one. Platt leads off the second pitch of her at bat. The count goes 1-1. Savvy Regina on the board for their first ever New Mac Conference victory as a program with a 6-0 shutout victory over Wellesley in game one of their doubleheader down to Newport. Ground ball picked up in foul territory by the catcher Lucy Allen. So Whedon right now is tied with Springfield at the top of the New Mac. Both teams are 3-0 right now to begin, to begin conference play. Wellesley entered today at 3-0, but lost the first game against Salvi Regina. Wellesley projected to finish in ninth place in the New Mac Conference preseason poll behind Whedon in seventh, Smith in sixth, Springfield projected in third. MIT is ranked right now inside the top 25 and number 22 in the nation for MIT. New Mac tournament champions from last year. Ford Engineers made a super regional appearance last season in the NCAA tournament. 2-2. That gets tagged foul off the bat of Platt. Platt had a career high two hits against the Wentworth Institute of Technology Leopards and also against Simpson College of Iowa on spring break. Two excellent victories this season for the Lions. They won against Catholic University 4-0 on spring breakout at Kissimmee, Florida. Catholic with a record of 14-6 this season. Swing the miss, strike three. A strikeout recorded on the mound by Bailey Gray for the Pioneers. Another solid victory came against Simpson College of Iowa, 11-9 on spring break on March 11th for Weed, and that was out in Kissimmee, Florida. Simpson College has won 12 straight games in a row. They have a record of 17-5, and, and Simpson allowed a season-most 11 runs to Weed in that game. Six players recorded two hits each in that matchup for Weedon. First pitch taken for a ball. 2-0 now the count to Riley Dolan, the sophomore catcher from Corum, New York. Dolan with a great tag to tag out the base runner during the last inning as Chance was trying to come across the plate for the first run scored today, but was denied. 2-0. Taken for strike one at the knees, delivered on the mound by the pitcher, Bailey Gray. 67 victories and only 16 losses by Whedon all time against Smith dating back to 1983. Dominant by Whedon College. They've won the previous 14 out of 15 games here at their home field at the Clark softball field in North Mass. Missing high in the pitch. The count goes 3-1 in favor of Whedon. Gray with a 3-1. Missing down, that's ball four. So Riley Dolan is on board now with a one-out walk. And the head coach for Smith, Emily Lopez, comes out. I believe she was talking to the home plate umpire, questioning about the count. And yeah, Riley Dolan will get called back, so it was wrong on the count. It was 3-1, but it was wrong on the count. And instead of a walk, it's been 3-2. So 3-2 right there as Dolan is going down the first. Saw the scoreboard on the count was 3-1. Numpire instead called it delayed on a, on a strike instead of a ball. So 3-2 now the count here. Dolan's still up looking to see if she can get on board. 3-2 pitch. Strike three. Delayed strike three call right there. Five seconds approximately later by the home plate umpire as Dolan. So looking back, trying to see if she was awarded first base or not, but a really late strike call right there to ring up the second batter this inning. This brings up Maggie Karen now up for Whedon.
First pitch, a called strike to Karen. Karen is a sophomore from Boxford, Massachusetts, playing second base today in game two of today's doubleheader. Whedon started off the season at 40 overall. They went four and six in their spring break trip in their first 10 games of the season. Karen, fly ball, it will be caught right along the fence for Smith right there, taking a collision right to the fence. But it was caught one and effort by Eleanor Washington on a diving stretch, catching the ball right along the fence side to close out the second inning. Everybody's okay. Washington able to walk back to the huddle here for Smith. What an effort out in right field. Diving, able to catch that one along the side of the fence for Eleanor Washington. And fall territory. 2-0 to score. Wheaton leads the first two innings of action. We'll be back for the top of three here on the New Max Sports Network. Lexi Ballum now up for Smith College with a number one, two, and three batters. Ballum, Ng, and Corey now up due at the top of the third inning. Ballum stole a base the first time she got up. Lays off the first pitch above the letters for ball one. One hit by Smith so far. That was recorded by Juno Schatz. She got thrown out at the plate trying to cross home. Pitch taken down of the way for ball two. Delivered by Blankenheim Brown in the mound to Ballum. We did with two hit, hits so far in game two of today's doubleheader. Both the one and two batters in the order with back-to-back -back hits. Juliet Zito and Ella Molinari. 2-0. Ballum ground ball. Fielded in the infield. Throwing across her body for the putouts. Recorded by Molinari. Great job getting that in an angle right there by Ella Molinari. A one down here for the Whedon defense. Now the center fielder, number 25, Taylor Ng. This brings up Taylor Ng up to the plate. Ng, ground ball, gets it right past the third base side of Oliveira. Ng will stay at first. Good back up out in the left field there with Allison Weston out of the left field to limit it to a base hit single for Smith. A lot of rich history with Wheaton College's softball program, a softball dynasty back in the 1990s and 2000s. 11 total New Mac tournament championships. First pitch missing high to. Taylor Ng, who is still up. So, I have her still up to the plate right here for Taylor Ng. Off the foul ball is rolled last time down the line. 2 1 now to count to Ng. New Mac Tournament Championships won in 1998, 1992, 1994, 95, 96, 97. 99, 2001 through 2003, also 2004, as well as the last time that they won the New Mac Tournament Championship. That will drop down, so that's finally a base hit there. The first one she put just foul past the third base line, but that's able to drop down. Right center field for Taylor Ng on board here with a one-out single. Now batting the shortstop, number 23, Piper Corey. This brings up Piper Corey. Struck out her first time up today for the shortstop. 
First pitch by Blinkham High and Brown. Corey drives it. Left field side. That's foul. Corey is a junior from Phoenix, Arizona. She came into this weekend series batting 393 for a batting average, 455 on base percentage. 11 hits with two doubles, two triples, seven RBIs and four walks drawn. She's also scored two runs, leading the team with those two triples this season. That leads the New Mac as well. 0-1 pitch to Corey. Corey, fly ball, slices at right side. Coming up to play it, though, for the outs. That's recorded by Rohan out of right field for Whedon. That's Zito, number three, out in the right field for game two. So Zito playing in right field here for game two. Rohan, number 13, made the start in game one with his number three out there, right field. Zito, the one who recorded the putouts. CC Allen is now up. He's off the first pitch for ball one. One oh pitch to Allen is high fly ball again. Zito comes back to play it. Under it for the final out this inning. Back to back outs recorded in right field by Julian Zito for Whedon as the shutout is still intact right now for the Lions. Entering the bottom of the third inning coming up. Whedon leads two to zero. In game two, a conference action against Smith. We'll be back in a couple moments on the New Max Sports Network. Bottom of the third inning, Weedon College leads 2-0 against Smith. Grace Tobacco now up. She's the number. Eight batter in the order for Tobacco. First pitch leads off of it for ball one. Whedon picked up their first victory at home this season with an 8-0 win over Smith in game one. Fly ball off the center field. Caught for the outs by Aang at center field. The first out this inning for the Pioneers. Whedon looking to get on a winning streak once again. Carly tied for two straight wins. This is a Third time this season that they've recorded a winning streak of two straight victories. Zito, ground ball, right side of the infield. Throwing the first, put out recorded by Taz Tamai for the Pioneers. So two quick outs here recorded by Smith. Two straight victories against Catholic University and Simpson College of Iowa on spring break on March 10th and March 11th. Those were the best two victories of the season against their lone two wins against opponents with a winning record. Whedon overall is 9-9, nine and nine, looking to get above 500 with a sweep here today if they can take game two. Ella Molinari's now up, playing shortstop in game two. Takes the first pitch in the zone for strike one. Another two straight victories, sweeping Savvy Regina last Saturday. And then coming off a win against Johnson and Wales in game two on Tuesday, 4-2. to two. They followed it up with a victory today. And game one this afternoon, 8-0. Bouncing down in the dirt for ball one. 
Delivered by Bailey Gray. The count now is one ball, one strike. A lot of improvement for Whedon. Six previous games. They posted a record of five and one after a start that they went four and eight. Fly ball, shallow right field. It's caught though for the out by Tamai. One, two, three inning for the Pioneers defense. As we close out the end of the third inning, it's Whedon two, Smith zero. In game number two of today's doubleheader in New Mac Conference action. We'll be back in a couple moments on the New Mac Sports Network. Number four, five, and six batters do up this inning for Smith to lead things off. At the top of four will be Lucy Helms. She left two runners on base during the first time up, striking out. Peyton Blinkenheim Brown with two strikeouts recorded so far today. The pitch to Helms, she drives it, skips off the glove of Molinari. She's on board now with a hit. The tough one playing it off the short hop there at shortstop by Molinari, but some Lucy Helms able to drive it, see if she can start to catapult a run here for Smith, who has been scoreless all game. The heart of their order, number five batter now up with Judo Shantz, the senior playing first base today from Seattle, Washington. She's a second team all conference selection for last season. And she drives it right to the gap in between third and shortstop. That's two quick hits here for the Pioneers. Shantz on board on first. An NFCA all region selection last season. Now batting the right fielder, number seven, Ellie Washington. Eleanor Washington now up, the sophomore right fielder from Sacramento, California. This is their 15th at bat this season for Washington. Squares the bun, pop fly, and a chance here to fire out to first. Very close to a double play. Heads up defense there for Whedon. And they'll get Washington off the fly out off the bunt. The runners stay put at first and second. It's just heads up there. Oliveira across the diamond. Almost got shots. Retired. Ground ball. Left side Oliveira. Tags the bag. The throw across the diamond. Double play for Whedon. Nice. Lindsay Oliveira, she could do it herself. Ground ball, the third backhand tags the third piece bag across the diamond. Put out recorded by Oliveira. Double play to close out the inning for Whedon. Whedon limiting Smith to zero runs scored throughout the entire day so far as we enter now the bottom of the fourth inning coming up. The Lions lead two to zero against the Pioneers. We'll be back for the bottom of four upcoming on the NUMAC Sports Network.
Bottom of the fourth inning, Sal Lopez on the call today. On the New Mag Sports Network as Wiener College leads game two, two to zero against Smith. First pitch missing down. Number two with their bat right now for Wiener. And this is Taylor Barry who's had an excellent day today. Excellent week plus of action in their first season for the designated player from Hadley, Massachusetts. Sky high fly ball, right shallow field and caught. On the out rushing forward is Washington who records the out for the right fielder to retire Barry. Barry had a career high four RBIs, batting a perfect three for three in the first game today. Whedon took game one, eight to zero. Now leading game two, two to zero. Lindsey Oliver, the player the last inning, Recording the out off the fly out via the bunt. And then the double play to close out the top of four. She is up now batting. The pitch to Oliveira. She drives it down the right field side. It is caught though for the outs on the right field line by Washington for the second out this inning. Back to back outs by Washington. She's been excellent at right field. Had a diving catch and fall territory earlier on in this game. This will now bring up Peyton Blankenheim Brown, the pitcher who is up right now from Rio Linda, California. Struck out her first time up, looking to see if she can get on board. She sees the first pitch down and away for ball one. Defensive game here in game two of today's doubleheader. Whedon had 10 total hits in game one. It's actually Smith who's tallied four hits, but the Whedon defense has been sensational. Oliveira throwing a base runner out at the plate. Oliveira able to record a double play to close out last inning. It's been clutch plays like those defensively that's been able to have Whedon keep the lead and keep the game scoreless all throughout. 1-1 one, one now to count off the foul by Blankenheim Brown. The 1-1 one, one. ground ball left side rolls foul. Smith started off with a winning record, five and three on their spring break trip in Claremont, Claremont, Florida from March 17th through March 22nd. Trying to shake off the rust coming into today's game. They hadn't played in nine days since they did not play a New Mac Conference game last week. And that was against Westfield State was their last game of the doubleheader on March 22nd, seventh before entering today's matchup. Blakenheim Brown leaves it down. The count goes two balls, two strikes. From the pitcher for Smith College, Bailey Gray. This is also their first road trip today for Smith. They have a one win, two losses, and one tie record at home this season. One win, two losses, and a tie at home. Five and three record on neutral field, and now 0 and 1 on the road. Their first actual road trip today. Did not go through the zone in the check swing. It's now three balls, two strikes to Blakenheim Brown. Ground ball to the shortstop. Trying to cross the diamond, the first to put out recorded by Piper Corey for the Pioneers. Two to zero, the scores. We're through four innings in the books. Game two, the double header at Clark Field on the campus of Wheaton College as Wheaton leads two to zero against Smith. We'll be back for the top of five coming up on the New Max Sports Network.
Top of the fifth inning right now, 2-0 to zero winning college leads as we welcome you back to action here on the New Max Sports Network at Clark Field. Hench hitter for Smith College now up to the plate, number 24, Madison Swain. This is Swain's first at bat today for the senior from Temecula, California. Blankenheim Brown, first pitch to Swain, taken in the zone for strike one. A one pitch, fly ball, popped up though for the out recorded. That's Lily Platt at first base for one out here for Whedon's defense. Now batting the left fielder, number four, Lexi Ballum. This brings up Lexi Ballum, check swing, in the zone, take it for strike one. No balls, one strike now to Ballum, the batter. Ballum 0 for 2 today. A one pitch, missing off the glove of the catcher. Dolan for Whedon. Count goes one ball, one strike. Smith got shut out in the first game. This has been a low-scoring Smith offensive team this season. They're only averaging 2.67 runs per game. That's 10th in the NUMAC out of 11 softball programs in the conference. Bottom 30 in the nation in scoring. They compiled just two hits in the first game. They have four here in the second game. Two of those hits have been by Juno Shots in game two. Two balls, one strike from Blake and Brown. 2-1. Pop fly, left side goes foul. Off the bat of Ballum. The most runs that Smith has scored this season is eight runs. That was in an eight to eight tie against Westfield State in their previous game before they played today's first game of the doubleheader on March 27th. Ground ball back to the pitcher, Blankenheim Brown. Under throws the first, and she records the putouts. Two outs now for Whedon's defense here at the top of five. This will bring up Taylor Ng to bat now. Ng, the junior outfielder from San Diego, California, playing center field in game two of today's action. Ng, pop flies it, center field off her bats. Tobacco under it for the third out of the inning. 2-0, to zero. Whedon leads. He only got two hits so far in this game. And both of the runs were able to score at the bottom of the first inning, starting off game two with back-to-back -back hits by Zito and Molinari. Whedon will see if they can get their bats going once again, leading by two runs, shutting out Smith throughout the course of today's matchup. Bottom of five upcoming as Whedon leads. We'll be back upcoming here, start of bottom of the fifth inning on the New Max Sports Network. Six, seven, eight batters due up this inning for the Wheaton College Lions as we welcome you back to action at the Clark softball field in the campus of Wheaton College in North Massachusetts. Lily Platt, she's up next. And this portion of the order 
Next two batters between Platt and Dolan both struck out the last time up, so they're trying to see if they can get some redemption here. Where the next at bats, Platt will lead off the inning. She tags the first pitch back for strike one. So it goes foul. Four shutout victories this season by Wheaton. Just one shutout loss that came against UMass Dartmouth 5 to 0 on March 22nd. Lost their first two games at home against UMass Dartmouth being swept two weeks ago, but today they picked up their first home victory in game one against Smith. Hind outside for ball one. Looking to see if they can pull out a close game, if they can win this one for Wheaton. And they've yet to win a game decided by one run this season. They've lost to SUNY Geneseo 3-2. They lost against Loris College of Iowa on spring break as well, but the same score 3-2. Lost against a ranked opponent inside the top 15 with number 13 ranked Rowan University in New Jersey 4-3. The record here for Whedon at 9-9 overall it certainly could be better, but they lost three games determined by one run. Sky high fly ball right side and foul territory. And that will bounce foul. Out of right field for Smith. Excellent game of the field by Eleanor Washington on the right field all throughout the course of today. Had a diving catch next to the fence to close out the end of an inning. A couple of key fly balls last inning that she caught on the right field. That time it dropped in foul territory. Swing of the miss, strike three. Bailey Gray on the mound. She rings up Lily Platts. Records her fourth strikeout of the game. This brings up Riley Dolan. Dolan also struck out her first time up today. Dolan sees the first pitch in the zone, takes it for strike one. The pitcher's on the mound today. Bailey Gray for Smith. It's now thrown four to thirds innings, three, four strikeouts with. No walks, two earned runs. Both of those earned runs were the first two batters of today's game. Fly outs to the right fielder, Washington. Records another put out. Peyton Blankenheim Brown on the mound for Whedon's pitched five full innings, 51 pitches, two strikeouts, no walks, no earned runs, and a shutout. That's intact right now with four hits allowed. Now batting the second baseman, number 18, Maggie Karen. Washington just recorded their fifth put out of the game. That leads all Smith players in today's action in game two. Maggie Karen now up for Whedon. Takes the first pitch in the zone for strike number one. Karen in her sophomore season at second base today from Boxford, Massachusetts. Smith has been able to win two close games decided by a run this season. Pop fly to the pitcher's mound. And it's caught by Gray for a 1-2-3 inning by the Pioneers. Smith only allowing two total hits this game by Whedon. But Whedon leads in the scoreboard 2-0. Game 2 action right now. Today's double header as we enter now the top of the sixth inning coming up on the New Mac Sports Network. Top of the sixth inning. Three, four, and five batters do up this inning for Smith. Piper Corey, 0 for 2, struck out one time today, is now up for the shortstop. 
Peyton Blankenheim Brown on the mound. Five innings thrown so far, recording two strikeouts to five scoreless innings. Four hits allowed, missed in the first pitch above the letters for ball one. Whedon's looking for a 4 0 start to Newmat Conference play. At the top of the conference, tied with Springfield at first in the Newmat. Taken for strike one. Springfield took the first game against Babson 9 to 1. Babson has battled back in game two as Babson leads 2 to 1. Next Saturday, Whedon will be hosting Babson. Schedule gets tougher in Newmat Conference play next weekend. Facing MIT and Babson and back-to-back doubleheaders. Put out recorded on the mound by Peyton Blakemheim Brown as she get the hot shot right up the grounder right to her. Able to field it and throw on the first recording the put out. Great way to help herself out on the mound right there by Blakemheim Brown. This brings up CC Allen is now up for Smith. She is the senior from Bakersfield, California. Ground ball back to Blakeham High Brown. Over to first, records the outs. Back to back on the mound by Peyton Blakeham High Brown for Whedon. Whedon's also looking for their longest winning streak of the season. Right now, they've got three winning streaks of two straight victories this season. They've never won three games in a row this season. If they can win this one, they would have their first winning record since a 3-2 and two overall start on March 11th and also have their longest winning streak of the season at three straights. First pitch taken inside for a ball. This is Lucy Helms now up. She pitched in the last game. Helms is the designated player in game two today. Blakemheim Brown with back-to-back -back putouts looking to see if she could do it all herself this inning. Right to Blakemheim Brown off the ricochet though. And Helms will get on board as Blakenheim Brown a little bit shaken up. That's a tough, tough shot on a rope right there. Looking to see if she can walk it off right now. Blake of mine Brown will go up for a couple warm-up pitches. That was a liner that she got tagged by off the bat of Lucy Helms, but great to see she's up. She's all right. One warm-up pitch and about to get into the pitcher's circle once again. We'll see if Whedon can keep this game. Holding Smith scoreless right now. 2-0 lead for the Lions. Top of the sixth inning, two outs. And the zone strike one, throw down the first, not in time. That bat is Juno shot. She's the lone player in this game with two total hits. Shots with a 5-12 on base percentage entering this week's doubleheader. Leading the teams in batting average on base percentage. Hits and doubles, sky high fly ball, deep left field side going back all the way to the fence. And that will score one run as shot stays up at second. And Smith is now on the board. Stand up double. That's her third hit of the game by Juno Shots. The senior playing first base from Seattle, Washington. Ellie Washington now up. Couple big plays she has made defensively in this game at right field today. Washington now up to bat. Two outs, top of the sixth inning. Washington, a fly ball stays up in the infield. Molinari under it for the grab to close out the inning. One run scored with Juno shots. Able to bring home Lucy Helms. The first run scored today by Smith. Right now, Whedon leads 2-1. to one. Bottom of the sixth inning coming up. Whedon looking for their first winning record this season since a 3-2 and two start on spring break 
back on March 11th. Whedon's looking to get above a 500 winning percentage with a victory here. And also looking to keep the wins and the undefeated streak alive in Newmat Conference play if they can start out at 4-0. and So a lot at stake here, especially for both of these teams. But for Whedon, looking to see if they can jump up to a 9 to a 10-9 overall record if they pick up the sweep over Smith. Today's doubleheader if they take game two. They've yet to win a game decided by one run as well. They're 0-3 and three in games decided by one run or fewer this season. Right now, Babson's leading Springfield 2-1. At the bottom of the fourth inning, Whedon's tied with Springfield at the top of the NUMAC. Both teams are the lone undefeated teams at 3-0 to begin conference play this season. Wellesley dropped the first game on the road at Savvy Regina, so everybody else in the NUMAC has at least one loss so far besides Whedon and Springfield at the moment. First pitch taken in the zone for strike number one, delivered on the mound by Bailey Gray to the batter, number 10, Grace Tobacco. Tobacco is 0 for 1 today. Number 9 batter in the order. Leaves the second pitch at her at bat down for ball one. Just two total hits in game two today by Whedon. They came into this weekend's action with 123 total hits. Number two in the new Mac. Looking to see if they can add in some more insurance right now for the Lions. The pitch to Tobacco. Strike two. Painting the corner. A solid pitch right there by Bailey Gray. Gray hitting her spots today right now. Came in undefeated into this matchup with a 2-0 record at 2.58. Earned run average and a complete game pitched. Missing high by Bla Gray. Gray pitched a complete game, seven inning shutout with five strikeouts, two walks allowed, and three hits allowed in the 3-0 victory over SUNY Brockport on March 21st. Her career high is nine strikeouts in the 6-3 to three victory over Knox College of Illinois on March 19th. Did not go to the zone by Tobacco. The count's now full. Three balls, two strikes. Three-two pitch. That's ball four. Tobacco with a leadoff walk to begin the bottom of the sixth inning. This brings up Julia Zito. One for two, recorded a lead-off hit to begin the game, also scored. Excellent start by Whedon in game two of today's doubleheader. Zito squares the bunt, dropped it down in foul territory, though. Zito with a lead-off double to begin game two of action. She's averaging 0 0.4. Doubles per game, number three in the new Mac. Also averaging a run per game score, number two in the conference. Squares the bunt, pulls it back to throw down the second. And sliding off the ball right there is that will be safe at second base. Advancing over with tobacco is the throw. Off the ball, bouncing, hit her in her slide. And now Zito with an opportunity to see if she can bring home a run here with Tobacco. Coming up after Zito will be Ellen Molinari with an RBI in this game, bringing home Zito at the bottom of one. Zito with one runner on board seconds. Zito rips it right to the middle. Here comes Tobacco third as she will halt at third. Zito goes over to seconds. Two runners now in scoring position with no outs for the Lions at the bottom of six. So now the bat's able to start to come alive. A walk to begin the inning, and now the third hit of the game by Whedon. Smith has six total hits as a team. This brings up Ellen Molinari. She has had an excellent day today from Molinari. In game one, she went a perfect three for three batting. One RBI with two runs scored. So far, she's gone one for two in game two with an RBI bringing home Zito. 
to start off the game at the bottom of the first inning. A stolen base by Molinari and a run scored. Big spot here for her. Two runners in scoring position in her first season from Grafton, Massachusetts. She tied a career high in the last game with three total hits. She also went three for four against Bridgewater State on March 26th. So after the mound visit, Bailey Gray will pitch to Molinari. Molinari sees the first pitch of the knees, takes it for strike one. Big spot right now, looking to see if they can tack on some more insurance runs for the Wheaton College Lions. Wheaton leading by a run. No balls, one strike, no outs at the bottom of six. Molinari tags it back foul. As the count now goes to no balls, two strikes. So it's no balls, two strikes. Gray with 0-2 pitch to Molinari. High and outside, taken for ball one. Big spot in the game right now for Ella Molinari. Looking to see if she can deliver with two runners in the base pats. One-two pitch by Gray. Molinari cranks it high, right side foul. Whedon looking for some more insurance runs right now. They've gone on three separate winning streaks, a two straight victory is looking to stretch it out to three, which would be their longest winning streak this season. The pitch, Molinari, foul, off her cleats. Count stays the same, one ball, two strikes. Molinari right on these pitches right now. Able to spoil this count with Bailey Gray in the pitching circle on the mounds. Molinari, two runners in scoring position. The one-two pitch by Gray. Swing and a miss, strike three. Gets her in the high pitch at the helmet level. First out recorded this inning. This brings up Taylor Barry. Taylor Barry entered this week hitting an impressive 536 for a batting average. 15 for 28 batting in their first eight games as a Lion. Barry sees the first pitch above the letters for ball one. Both Molinari and Barry are only in their first season. They have bright future with the program. Barry in the designated player spot from Hadley, Massachusetts. Leading the team at batting average and on-base percentage this season by Barry. Big spot here to see if she can drive more runs across the board with her spectacular game. Takes the pitch down at the knees for strike one. 1-1 one, one now to count for Barry. Barry had a career high. Four RBIs in game one of today's doubleheader. Perfect three for three with four RBIs. Looking to add some more to our daily total. So he goes back foul. Bailey Gray yet to record a collegiate loss in the mound. Record of 2-0 this season. Taylor Barry looking to see if she can add some more insurance runs across the board. Two runners in scoring position. The pitch. Barry tags it back foul. What a battle here between the pitcher for Smith, Bailey Gray, and Taylor Barry, the batter. Both of them first-year players. Gray with a 1-2 pitch to Barry. Takes it for ball two. Very close right there in the zone. Barry's coming off New Mac Offensive Athlete of the Week honors. Last week, the 2-2 pitch by Gray, missing high as the count goes full to Barry. Big pitch up coming here, one out. Bottom of the sixth inning. Whedon leads by one with what most likely would be their final at bat to the game. Barring a miracle comeback by Smith in this one. 3 2 with one out. Barry, left field side, gets it past the shortstop. 
That's an RBI by Taylor Barry as she scores one. Taylor Barry moves over to second. Tobacco scores and Whedon leads three to one. Taylor Barry have herself a day today. That is our fifth RBI today. First of game two. Lindsay Oliveira now up to the plates. At the top of the, at the top of the five sacrifice flies this season. A top 25 in the nation in sacrifice flies had one earlier on in this game. Is now up. She drives it. Deep right field going back. It is off the glove of Eleanor Washington, the right fielder. That scores one with a run. Here comes two. Sliding in safely in the third. Lindsay Oliveira. Two RBIs as she keeps on delivering a three RBI game by Oliveira. Puts the score down to five to one for Whedon. Smith here with a mound visit. So it looks like they will undergo a pitching change for the Pioneers. Whedon looking to come out of today as The lone undefeated team potentially in the new Mac if it holds up. Right now Springfield, who is also 3-0, scored four runs in the bottom of the fourth inning. So Springfield has taken the lead over Babson 5-2. Springfield's out to an excellent season with a, four, with a record of 14 wins, two losses, and one tie. They'll keep the pitcher in right now for Smith. Peyton Blankenheim Brown is now up for Whedon. So Bailey Gray stays in the mound for Smith. Springfield leads Babson 5-2. Whedon and Springfield are tied for first place in the conference at 3-0. The lone two teams that still undefeated at the top of the New Mac together. Rest of the teams have suffered a loss, at least one in the New Mac. Swing of the miss, strike two to Blakeham High and Brown, the batter. What an excellent start to, to the season for Whedon in New Mac offers action. Smith was projected... A placement spot higher than Whedon in the New Mac Conference preseason standings, returning 10 of 21 players as upper-class players. 11 of 20 players as upper-class players in the roster. This goes down as a statement start here for the number seven projected team in the New Mac Conference preseason poll back in February. Smith projected at number six, and right now Whedon looking to provide a sweep this Friday afternoon, right into the gap. Blake and Hine Brown with an RBI as she scores. Oliveira from third to home. Six to one for the Lions. They came into this inning with just two total hits. They've exploded offensively. At the bottom of the sixth year. For four additional insurance runs right now. Lily Platt looking to get on board. She struck out twice today. The first pitch to Platt, swing of the miss, strike one. Offense really coming along strong. Everything clicking right now for Whedon. Under a first year head coach, Erin Miller leading the program, the sixth head coach in program history. Hired back in November of 2023. She spent the previous four seasons over at Mitchell College in New London, Connecticut. Coming off NECC Coach of the Year honors and back-to-back -back seasons in 2022 and 2023. Last season was the final year in the New England Collegiate Conference. Missing high in the pitch to Platt. The count goes one and two. Last season, Miller coached Mitchell College to a program best 24-19 record, 10-3. And in the NECC Conference playing the final season of New England Collegiate Conference. Off the bat of Platt, she tags a back foul. Everything going well for the Lions right now. Five and one record in the previous six games. Looking to stretch that out to a six and one in the last seven. Also, if they can win this game today, they'd have their lar largest winning streak this season. Looking for the double play for Smith. And the ball was dropped at first as we'll continue this inning. So Juno Shunch dropped it at first. Piper Corey. Records the put out at second, tagging the bag. 
That was an opportunity for a double play to double up to double Whedon and Platt, but Platt's on board now on first. This brings up Riley Dolan in the catcher position today, now at bat, at bat for the line. She's also looking to get on board today, her first time of the game. Misses in the first pitch for strike one. Solid production by Whedon coming through the number three. Number one, two, three, and five batters. Platts drops it in. Now drop down shallow right center field. She is on board. That's the sixth hit of the game now for the Lions. So hits today have been by Juliet Zito with two hits and two runs scored. Ella Molinari, Taylor Barry, Peyton Blankenheim Brown, and now Lily Platts all with a hit each. First pitch, cranked foul over to Smith dugout. This is Maggie Karen who is up now at the second base spot today. Karen is a sophomore from Boxford, Massachusetts. Four runs added in at the bottom of the sixth inning for Whedon. Able to pull away after a two to one lead, adding in some more insurance runs. Gray with a pitch to Karen. Taken down for a ball as the count goes one ball, two strikes. Gray with a one-two pitch. Karen, ground ball, left side, fielded by the shortstop, turned across the diamond for the putouts. Recorded by Piper Corey for the last out of the inning. Four more runs scored, though, for the Wheaton College Lions as they tack on insurance runs. Looking to stay perfect in Newmark Conference play as we enter now the top of the seventh inning coming up. Wheaton leads 6-1 to one against Smith. And Whedon also looking to get back to their first winning record since March 11th when they started off the season at 3-2. And now they're 9-9, and searching for victory number 10 of this season. 6-1, Whedon leads against Smith. We'll be back up coming for the top of the seventh inning here on the New Max Sports Network. Whedon College leads 6-1. to one. Game 2 of today's doubleheader. Whedon took game 1 8-0. to zero. Whedon is outscoring Smith 14-1. to one. And today's doubleheader action as Whedon is looking to improve to 4-0 to this season to start off New Mac Conference play. First pitch died off for strike 1. Delivered by Peyton Blankenheim Brown on the mound. This is number 12 batting here for Smith with Lucy Allen, the catcher from West Boylston, Massachusetts. Blickenheim Brown with the 0-1. Taken down, missing low to Lucy Allen. Upcoming schedule for Whedon. They have a doubleheader tomorrow, looking to see if they can stay perfect in conference play. Doubleheader at 12 p.m. and 2 p.m. on the road at Clark University in Worcester, Mass. Clark with a record of 0-2 to begin conference play, which is their tie for last place in the New Mac alongside Emerson and Savary Regina. Now drop down for a hit for Lucy Allen on a base hit single with no outs to begin. The top of the seventh inning for Smith. Next home game for Wien, and that will be next Friday with a doubleheader hosting number 22 nationally ranked MIT at 3 and 5 p.m. MIT 
with a record of 9-3, and 1-1 one and one in New Mac Conference play after their first two games. Entered today with a, in a tie for fourth place in the conference alongside WPI, Babson, and Coast Guard. The tomorrow doubleheader at Clark for Whedon. Next Friday, hosting number 22 ranked MIT. And then Saturday, April 13th, Whedon will be back home once again, hosting Babson. So the conference schedule starts to strengthen quite a bit. Babson historically has been a top 25 program in years past as well for college softball. MIT coming off a super regional appearance last season in the 2023 NCAA tournament, winning the New Mac Conference tournament last year. First pitch was followed back by Smith. This pitch is hidden on a line. Now drop down for a base hit for number two for the Pioneers with Taz Tamai at second base today. Uh, now on board with a single. Smith is out hit. Whedon in game two, eight to six right now. This brings up Lexi Ballum. The leadoff batter now up for the Pioneers. Smith looking for a response right now at the top of seven. Blanking behind Brown, first pitch. Swing and the miss, strike one, delivered by Blakeham High and Brown off the miss by Ballum. Upcoming game for Smith. They'll be back in action tomorrow for the Pioneers at home in Northampton, hosting Savi Regina at 12 p.m. and 2 p.m. tomorrow. Savi Regina entered today at 0-2 in a the new Mac. They picked up a game one victory over Wellesley College. The first game today, that's their first ever victory as a program in the New Mac Conference slate. New to the New Mac, starting this season. And then Smith will have their next non-conference doubleheader on Wednesday at 3 p.m. and 5 p.m. on the road at Amherst, Ho Amherst College. Amherst has a record of 4-9 this season at 1-1 in the NESCAC. Missed down in the pitch by Blakemheim Brown. The count now is two balls and one strike. Two one by Blakemheim Brown to Ballum, missing high, and the count goes three balls, one strike. So looking to see if she can get out of a jam right now. For Peyton Blankemheim Brown, she has been excellent throughout the course of this game. Allowing just one total run through six innings, but no outs to count three and one. Three one pitch. Taken for strike two. Battles back in the count as the count goes full. Biggest pitch of the game right here, right now for Peyton at Blankenheim Brown. Two runners on board, first and second, full count. Three and two and no outs. Looking to avoid putting all runners on board. Sent to center field, caught for the outs by Tobacco. All throughout the course of the game, Whedon's outfield has been able to hold down the four out there. Back up the pitcher, Blankenheim Brown. One out now for the Lions defense. This brings up Taylor Aang up to the plate, the number two batter in the order for Smith. Aang takes the first pitch outside the edge of the plate. Strike one delivered by Blankenheim Brown. Aang won a season I two for three batting with a double and a run scored against Hamilton College on March 17th. She had a career high three hits with three doubles against Elms College last season. That's the most doubles hit in a single game in program history by a pioneer. This ball gets sliced over to the second base side. It's recorded on an out by Maggie Karen off the grab. One out away for the victory here for the Lions. Whedon looking for their longest winning streak of the season. Trying to stretch this to three straight victories. Looking to see if they can get back to their first winning record since spring break where they started off at three and two overall. An excellent start so far in a new Mac conference late. For the Wheaton College Lions first pitched miss up and high. Off the mark to Piper Corey the batter. Blakeham High Brown looking to go the distance. The pitch, Corey, ground ball, right side. 
The throw the first off the bag. The tag not applied will continue. And there's that slight bobble by Karen, and then the throw is off the bag to Platts, who couldn't apply the tag in time, slipping past the tag with Corey. And now the bases are juiced. A big spot right here in the game. 6 1 to score, trailing by five for Smith. Bases are loaded for number 18, CC Alanis. The senior playing third base today from Bakersfield, California. Alanis sends the pitch back foul. Alanis is tied for first in the team in home run. She has a home run this season, which was against Westfield State in the previous series prior to today's matchup on March 27th. She went two for three with a double, a home run, and a career high, three RBIs against Westfield State. 0-1 pitch by Blankenheim Brown. Alanis looks at the pitch. It's inside though for ball one. Her career high is six RBIs against Rutgers University Camden in 2023. Major spot right here for CC Alanis. 1-1. One, one. Missing down to Alanis. Great stop with the catcher. Riley Dolan behind home plate. Two won the count from Blankenheim Brown to Alan is the batter. Ground ball off the glove of Blankenheim Brown. The throw from second to first and Karen able to record it in time as we close out the game. Whedon wins six to one the final score over Smith today in game two of today's double headers. Whedon improves to a record of 10 and nine overall for though and Newman Conference play at the top of the conference in the first four games this season. Undefeated right now for the Whedon College Lions out to an excellent start for Whedon. They pick up their first two victories on their home field this season for the Lions. 